Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you my um, quite growing collection of the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I have mentioned these in a lot of my other videos. No matter which ones I try, these, no, regardless of what's out there, these have been my favorite top, top holy grail liquid lipsticks out there. Um, now, recently though, I have started to use the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks. I started being able to get my hands on them and I'm getting quite obsessed with those as well. So we'll see how many I'm able to um, get my hands on and be able to afford because <laughs> I have been able to find some of them on sale, especially for Black Friday. And I'm going to try to do a Black Friday haul for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, um, with the Cap on the Liquid Lipsticks, I'm going to be showing you all the ones I have and give you arm swatches. I'm not going to swatch them on my lips just because there's way too many of them. But if you guys want to see that, let me know. You know, like this video, leave me comments down below, and I'll try to work on that for you guys. But but yeah, I'm sitting in a different area today. I'm sitting in here in my living room just because this is the holiday season. I love, love, love Christmas. And um, aside from Halloween, which is my favorite all-time holiday, if you want to call it, that I love Halloween. Um, Christmas is my, my second um favorite one essentially. I'm going to be able to go get to see my family in New Jersey at the end of the month so I'm very excited about that. Um, so yeah, I felt like sitting by my Christmas tree make this a little festive here because um, I haven't I, you know, been able to keep up with my videos just because life is busy you know and, and yeah it's just busy. But with the Kat Van D liquid lipsticks there are 29 shades of them and I have been able to collect 21 of them in the past couple of years or so. So, it's quite a lot of them, I know, but you know what? Every year Sephora has a sale, two, two or three sales normally throughout the year, especially for BRV Rouge, so I've been able to at least get all these on sale because <laughs> who wants to pay full price for anything? But they do run for $20 each, and again, there's 29 colors. Um, so I'm going to start out with the lightest colors and then kind of work my way up. I have them separated um, depending on the color spectrum if you want to call it. But yeah, again, these are my favorite ones. Um, they're not overly drying. They are very, very comfortable from the lips, at least in my opinion. I do wear very matte lipsticks. Um, like I have worn the Melt Cosmetic Lipsticks and those are slimy matte. Yes, they're drying, but I'm comfortable with them. I don't know. It's just me and my personal preference. Not everyone may like it, but I find them to be extremely comfortable. They wear very, very nicely on the lips. They don't give me that gross, like, white line after a while like some of them do, um, which that was an issue I was finding with the, um, the ColourPop ones. And the some of the colors from the LA Splash ones, even though they, they're... Good. Unfortunately, they leave that white kind of residue nonsense inside of your lips. And you know, some of the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills ones, they're really nice, but they always leave that whitish gross thing and I just can't stand it. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, I'm wearing one of them today. I've been wearing them every single day almost since I have so many colors. It's so easy to just wear them all throughout the year. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're extremely comfortable. They're not badly priced. And again, if you can catch them on sale, because they are only sold at Sephora. And now they're also sold at the Kat Von D website. Um, you know, I, I recommend to kind of wait for a sale to come out. But there's a color for everybody. There's nudes, which I'm going to show you them because those are my favorite ones. So I'm going to start off with those first. And let's see. So I'm going to start off with the lightest shade that the collection comes with which is called Noble and this is what the packaging looks like and in the packaging let me see here real quick so tiny comes with 0.22 ounces and I'm sure I'll be able to tell there at the bottom of each one there's a black sticker that at least gives you the name and the um the amount of the product I can't complain stuff. these now I've thrown them everywhere and nothing's crumbling or, you know, peeling off. So this is a really quick quality packaging. But when you open it up, it's a nice dough applicator. And again, this one's Noble. So we'll just swipe that one. And I'll, one thing I do like is that it, no matter if you turn around, it's not going to just 
fall out of the packaging, which is nice. So this is one swipe. They're very, very pigmented, which is amazing. Can't complain. But again, this one's noble. Then the second one on here, which is extremely popular one, is Bow and Arrow, which I'm so happy they brought this one back. Because back in the day when they had this one, I was never able to get my hands on them. So, and this is what Bow and Arrow looks like. And we'll swipe it here by Noble. And there's that one here. Let me close this off. So that's Bow and Arrow. Next one on here is Lolita. Another very popular color. And this one is more of a darker brown compared to the other ones. So there we are. Then the next one, this one just came out. I'm glad I was able to get my hands on it. It's Lolita 2. And I am in love with this one. I always love Lolita, but I always thought, at least for me and my skin tone, was a little bit, was a bit of a dark brown. And this is nice brick color uh, brown for me. So here it is. Swipe by it. And as you can tell, it's just one swipe, very pigmented on all of them. But you can tell the, the color difference on here between Lolita and Lolita 2. Then let's see, which one do we have? Then we have Lovesick. This is what that looks like there. Oh. And now the sun decides that it wants to do some crazy things. Let me see if I can close this off so I can so you can actually see me without so many lines going across me. Okay, I think this is a little better, so hopefully the sun doesn't keep on um, going crazy on me. But where were we? So we were at Lovesick. So there's... Did I do that one already? Yes, I did. I'm going nuts. Oh my gosh. So here's Lovesick. And then the last one that I have here is Melancholia. And here it is. And here's that one. So these were all of the lighter, neuter colors, if you want to call it, that I have. So I'm going to move on to the, all the pinks and corals that I have on the collection. So let me get those, and we'll be right back with those. Okay, so I got all the lovely pinkish colors here so we'll start out with the darkest one and this is um, Bahal 5 Bahal's not sure if my camera will be able to pick up the the label there let me see no it doesn't want to pick it up yep it doesn't want to pick it up on here oh there's the set again wow but Here's that. And here's the swatch for it. And the next one here is Backstage Bambi, one of my favorite bright pinks. And here's that here on the dough applicator. Here's it swatched. Then the next one here is just um, one of the sample ones that I've been able to get, which is great because when am I going to go through a whole tube? But these, the sample ones, have 0.10 ounces. So it's half of the full size tubes. And this one is called Berlin. Let's see, here it says in the dough applicator. So that one, <laughs> but that one's Berlin there. And 
Then we have, let's see. Ooh, this is the one that I'm actually wearing and it's called Armageddon. Very, very nice Barbie pink. This one reminds me of um, St. Germain from MAC. It's very similar. But this one at least does not make my teeth look yellow compared to St. Germain. But there's that one there. That one's Armageddon. So this color here is Jeffrey. And let's see. This is what it looks like here in the dough applicator. And this is what it looks like swipe on my wrist. Oh my goodness. See, that's one thing I don't like. Look at this. It's like, it's like love-hate relationship because it's so tight in there, which is nice because at least it doesn't just flow out of the packaging, but it makes this hard sometimes to close. So you really have to make sure you're getting it tight in there. But that one's Jeffrey, and this is the most col coral color out of all of them. So these are those so far. Okay, and then the next ones that I'm going to be showing you guys are the purple colors. So I'm going to pick those up. So then we have these ones here. And then we're going to start with, let's see, we're, this one's LUV. My favorite purple of life. But here's that. Look how beautiful this is. I feel it's like the perfect purple, at least for me. Then the next one is Aisha. And this is a, a muted purple. It's more like a grayish purple. I love doing this just because there's so many colors. Look at that. We're starting to get to the fun so The next colors. color I want to show you is called Requiem. 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 Here's that. And this is a very, very light pinkish color, but it has a kind of a grayish purple undertone, hence why I put it with the purples. And then the last one from that bunch is the random blue one that I have here. And this one, it's called Echo. It's a very nice royal blue. This one, it can be a little patchy. So you do have to wait till it, till it dries. Like, see if I get it up close, you can tell. It's not extremely opaque. So this one, you do have to wait till it dries and then reapply it again. So that's one thing I don't like about that color. And it's really mainly with that color so far, which is kind of annoying. So I did purchase the um, blue one from Jeffree Star. So I'm hoping that that one is more opaque than this one. So we'll see how that turns out. But again, that was Echo. And then last but not least... Let me pick these up. Last but not least, I have all my darker vampy colors and reds and orange here. So we're going to start out with the newest edition that I just got recently, and it's called Exorcism. And this is what it looks like there in the applicator. Let's see. And this one's a nice dark plum color and I feel like with the darker colors they do look a little patchier um, but again let it dry a little bit and then apply it on a layer and you'll be good so that was exorcism then we have Vampira which is another popular color of hers especially for this time of year and this one's more of a bit of a more of a wine color compared to exorcism so you'll be able to see there hopefully in the swatch a little bit more reddish versus very like 
purplish color. I'm more of a berry color. I keep calling everything purple now. Sorry. Okay, the next one here is Nosferatu, which is one I just had to get because of the name. But I do really enjoy this color. It's a very, very nice red berry color. There you go. So that is Nosferatu. Then the next one, let's see. This one is called Outlaw. It's another one of the, the sample sizes. And this is what that looks like there. There's Outlaw. So you can see, start seeing the color differences between all of them there. Then the last red one that I have is Santa Sangre. And this is just a very bright red. Oh, I love it. It's orangey undertones, which are my favorite. There you go. And these look very similar, at least I feel like in the camera here. Not sure if you guys are catching it, but Santa Sangre is brighter and orange undertones, and this was just a true red, I feel. And then the last one, but not least, is the lovely Agogo, and it's a beautiful, bright orange color here. And this is what it looks like on the applicator. And this is what it looks like swatched. It's one of my first ones that I ever bought from the collection. So yeah, these were all of the 21 um, Kat Von D liquid lipsticks that I have here for you guys. Hopefully you guys like this video. And again, if you want to see lip swatches, let me know. I can definitely work on that for you guys so you can see them on. But I figured I'd just give you a quick look of them on my arm um, because there's so many and I still have um, eight more or two to go. So hopefully I'll be able to get those by the, uh, I don't know, hopefully by my next year. You never know. Or next week. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh my goodness, the obsession. But I love liquid lipsticks. And to be honest with you guys, I am obsessed with the Kat Von D line. So this is exciting for me to be able to finally get these many in my hands and in my collection because I've really been enjoying them. But again, these are all the colors. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by. I hope you have a fantastic holiday season. Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Three Kings Day, whatever you celebrate out there. Just hope you have a good time. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see my family in New Jersey and hi everybody in New Jersey and in Connecticut as well Thank you guys for for always being there with me and you know for supporting my channel and <sighs> Hopefully you guys come back soon. Okay, so bye <laughs>